Today, we're gonna make kimchi. If you've made kimchi before, then you know it's a very labor-intensive process. Because it is such a labor-intensive process, it's often done with a lot of people. It's referred to as kimjang in Korean. My whole family is in town for the holidays. We're gonna get every single one of my family members involved, all the way from my not-yet six-year-old nephew to my 80-year-old father and my not-Korean husband. Let's hope it turns out good. Making kimchi actually starts the day before when you go to the grocery store to buy all your ingredients. And Amma has discovered that pitchu or cabbage is on sale. Oh good, well let's hope there's some left. My sister-in-law, a native Korean, and my mother get right to it to pick the best cabbage. So this one is also is yellow, right? Ah. And then this one is more greenish. So outside is green, and when you cut it, like look at the inside, uh -huh. the yellow is a good pitchu. It's like a nice and smooth, uh -huh. and you have to find a lot of a green parts. They don't make carrots like this here. At its core, kimchi is just cabbage and coarse sea salt. That's it. Over the years, though, people have added all sorts of things, starting with gochukaru, the spicy red chili powder that makes kimchi so recognizable. Amma is lamenting the fact that she didn't bring any of the gochukaru she personally picked up from a farm in Korea. Salting is the first part of kimjang. Salting consists of four indispensable ingredients. Salt, cabbage, water, and thyme. That last ingredient, thyme, is why we are starting at the crack of dawn. To salt the cabbage, you begin by splitting them in half, revealing the beautiful, delicate yellow leaves on the inside. In order to preserve the leaves, you cut a couple inches into the butt of each cabbage head and then split them down with your hands. This way, you don't ruin the beautiful natural shape of the leaves by slicing them with your knife. In Korea, kimchi is often made outside, and I decided to do the same thing here. A neighbor actually stopped by to comment on the process. A uh, YouTuber. Uh huh. To make sure that your kimchi is flavorful and properly pickled, salt generously, particularly towards the bottom where the leaves are extremely thick and stiff. Oh, pickle pot. I 
The real magic to kimchi making is time. How much time do you need to wait before rotating? How much time do you need to wait before flipping? My mom and YJ debated over this all morning long. Much of it depends on the size and texture of your cabbage. The bigger and stiffer they are, the longer you will need to wait. In the end, Alma determined that after about 90 minutes, the cabbage heads were ready to rotate, which involved moving the ones on the outer rim to the inside. Do you remember which ones are? I don't know. As you can see, the cabbage heads have wilted a lot already, but Alma notes that the ones in the outer rim are stiffer than the ones in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. While we wait for the cabbages to pickle, it's time to make the sauce. You know the one, spicy, red, and full of flavor. A lot goes into making the sauce, but I start by making my vegan fish sauce, or fishy sauce as I call it. As I mentioned, kimchi started out as just cabbage and salt. Fish sauce is a relatively new addition to the kimchi elixir, but it does help the fermentation process and makes your kimchi taste so yummy. Which is why I don't skip it altogether like some vegan kimchi recipes do. Because the gochukaru can't be mixed with the veggies too early, there's this little spell between rotating the cabbage heads and flipping them, about 30 minutes. So things slow down for a while. It's kind of nice to reflect on how different my kitchen feels when it isn't just me. In fact, some of my favorite memories with my mom, especially, well, they take place in the kitchen. So come to think of it. Amma was very stressed out in the kitchen when I was little. Whether she was making egg rolls for my teachers until three in the morning, baking cupcakes for my second grade class for my birthday, decorating Easter eggs for Easter Sunday. I don't think it was making the actual food that was stressful for her, not really. I think it was this unexpected collision between what she knew, Korean food, with a very unfamiliar world outside of English-speaking colleagues and teachers, holidays she'd never celebrated before, and the social pressures associated with being the mother of an American child. Okay. The white part should cut this way. Never forget. One young pa. And then About 90 minutes after flipping the cabbage heads, they're finally ready to rinse. How can you tell? Well, the cabbage heads have shrunk considerably and they're easy to pull apart. They also taste quite salty. This part can be a little bit difficult because again, depending on the size of your cabbages, it could be 90 minutes, it could be two hours. You'll just have to go with the feel of the cabbage heads and their taste. Of all things, I associate saucing with kimchi making. <laughs> Seeing the bright red paste come together it reminds me so much of our house in Skokie, Illinois, where my grandmothers and mom often prepped panchan or side dishes on the linoleum tiles of the kitchen floor. 
좋아하지만은 고춧가루가 많이 없어져. 해봐. I moved into this neighborhood, a very quiet, pristine cul-de-sac in the middle of a very safe suburb of SoCal about 18 months ago. I'm still relatively new here, and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous that my neighbors would be sort of weirded out with a bunch of Korean people getting elbow deep in kimchi sauce on their front yard. Okay. But it was pretty gratifying to be able to make kimchi, possibly the most Korean of Korean foods in the world, right in my driveway while folks walked by with their dogs or picked up their mail. No, you don't have to do it. No, you can't. Do it. No, you can't. Do it. No, you can't. Welcome. No. You have to do it. This won't be the first marriage to come to an end. <laughs> See these leaves that are this still. Way. Can you do these? And then. And on top. Like this. Look, they're not very long, are they? Like this. Like this. Sauce. Cabbage. Mmm. Next one is going to be this. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Did I do okay on this one? Yes. Is this look alright? Wow, so it'll be a pro. Can I? No, I see. Youngjung is basically, there's no rules. You just. <laughs> you just throw <laughs> No, like. You know what? Now, once you pack your kimchi, we usually let it sit outside or at room temperature for about three days before transferring them to the fridge. This facilitates optimized fermentation. The good thing about vegan kimchi is that it stays fresh much, much longer than non-vegan kimchi. My mom will take some home, and I plan on sharing some with my friends, but suffice it to say, I should have plenty of kimchi to get me through next spring, which is exactly the idea. I like to say that there's a little bit of kimchi in every Korean's heart. Salty, spicy, and not too sweet. But I think there's probably a little bit of kimchi in everybody's heart. A little brine to make us interesting, fire to make us passionate, and sweetness to make us kind. When I think about all the work that went into the food we make, all the history plated onto our dining table, and the bottomless reservoirs of brine we carry in our hearts, I remain not just grateful, but optimistic about what we can do when we're willing to roll up our sleeves and get a little messy for the greater good. It was just, he kept telling me, the best part about kimchi making? Well, it's eating it. Hmm.